not even a year after releasing renderings of its new range extended electric truck, Workhorse has unveiled the real thing. As promised, the new Workhorse W15 uses a pair of electric motors, one in the front and one in the back, for propulsion, along with a BMW gas engine and Panasonic batteries to supply power. Impressively, the truck is rated to go 80 miles on a full charge, and it will manage 32 miles per gallon highway and 28 miles per gallon city with the gas engine in use. While delivering these environmentally friendly numbers, the W15 won't be lacking in performance and usability. The dual motors produce 460 horsepower and deliver that power to all four wheels. As a result, Workhorse says it will go 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.5 seconds. The W15 can also carry up to 2,200 pounds of cargo in its bed, and it has a 7.2 kilowatts, 30 amp power outlet on the side suitable for running power tools. The only weak point in the truck's capability is towing, which is rated at 5,000 pounds. For comparison, a base, V6 powered Chevrolet Silverado will tow 7,600 pounds, and a Ford F150 with the smallest EcoBoost V6 can tow up to 8,500 pounds. Of course, neither is as economical nor as powerful. The W15S performance isn't let down by the exterior, either. The exterior is chiseled and chunky, with no shortage of flat planes and sharp angles. It screams tough commercial truck. The look is carried inside to the custom dashboard, too, with lots of tough plastic in gray, white, and orange. The interior is quite spartan, with hardly any controls except a simple dial for shifting in the center. Instruments and infotainment are displayed on two LCD screens, with the infotainment one controlled via touch. Even though the truck is fairly bare bones, Workhorse has included dual airbags, automatic emergency braking, and lane departure warning. The Workhorse W15 is aimed primarily at the commercial market, and demand appears to be high. The company says it currently has 4,650 pre-orders. Pricing hasn't been announced, but Workhorse intends to deliver trucks next year. We think this truck could have some strong appeal to private consumers as well, however the company hasn't announced plans for personal use sales, 